quickly want to just talk about uh, mentorship. And you may have heard that word a lot of times in our church or outside of the church. And a lot of times you'll hear that mentorship or mentor, that word, in different names and titles throughout the cult different cultures and different countries. It may, you may have heard a guru, a llama. Some people call a mentor a llama. Some people call a guide. Some uh, call a sensei. Have you guys heard of that before? All of those different titles and names, but they all initiate one thing is a mentor. And the ultimate meaning of a mentor, no matter what title or name it may be throughout this whole world, it is that this definition means one that will go before and show the way is the one that will go before and show the way. And so we say a lot of times about mentorship and we encourage each and every person that those that are sitting here tonight, if this is your first time or those that have uh, gave their life to Christ, maybe it's been a month or a few months or maybe six months, I want to tell you is that you are already a mentor. Because now that you have dug your heels in, you have began a journey with Christ. You've been hearing the word of God, if it's through podcasts, if it's through messages, or just sitting in the service. I want to tell you one thing is you're a mentor because you go before and show the way. And I want to tell you one thing is, is that a mentor is one of the most fulfilling things you will ever do in this life. I, I truly believe that and mean that. And I know that those that are here that have been mentoring others believe the same thing. When I was 14 years old, I gave my life to Christ and I began to mentor other girls as I went on and grew um, in this church. And I want to tell you, it was so fulfilling to see how God used me at a chance to give a people hope and give people a chance to also see that they could be a great inspiration to other people. And that was the beginning of God just using me and he was using other people. And I wanna share a scripture where it says, Proverbs 11:25. it says, whoever brings blessings will be enriched and the one who waters will himself be watered. And there's in other uh, translations will say, those that refresh will also be refreshed. And I want to tell you is that when you become a mentor, and we do this through our vision in our church, in our home groups, you know, we have a vision in our church that is to win souls and make disciples. And the way that we can execute this is through mentorship. It's through home groups. The way a disciple can become a disciple and for them to be used to their fullest potential is when you are mentored. See, there's one thing is when you can get uh, self, uh, when you're able to self-reflect, you know, that's one good way where where you're like, okay, this is what I need to change. This is how I need to grow. That's a good way. But I want to tell you is that when you do self-reflection, you're going in circles, okay? You're going to be going in circles and circles because you're only looking to your oneself. But when you have a mentor, you go to a new level. You get enriched in every area of your life. If it is spiritually, physically, if it's financially, if it's in your family or in relationships, when there is someone else that is looking at a different perspective, perspective or looking at a different blind spot, I want to tell you that there is no doubt you will grow in life when you have a mentor. If any self-improvement book that you pick up, any article or magazine, every successful person that has made it in life or are billionaires or millionaires or uh, successful entrepreneurs to whatever, even in ministry, there's one common thing that they always say is that I have a mentor. And that is true. No matter what you want to fulfill in your life, it is without a doubt. It is a principle that works. And I want to tell you is that when you come to this church, when you get installed into this vision and go to a home group, a mentor comes along and helps you and guides you to be able to fulfill all that God has called for you to be. Amen. And so I encourage each and every one of you to believe if you have been coming here for six months, I want to tell you is that God wants to use you for you to be able to mentor and guide others, to be a leader of this generation, to show that there is hope to the hopeless. And I want to tell you that, that this is the place that we can do it all together to unite and to show that. And last thing before I end this is that many times people say, well, I haven't read the whole Bible yet. I don't know those scriptures. I haven't memorized those scriptures. I don't have all the answers to say the right things. 
Well, you see, in the Bible, Pharisees, which are those traditional religious people, they were those, um, that was the example, those Pharisees, they valued knowledge. But Jesus Christ, he valued people. And I want to tell you is that we're not about valuing knowledge. We are about valuing people. And we want to be Jesus Christ-like. We want to be a reflection of Jesus. And he valued people. And that is what mentoring does, is we value a soul. We value a vision through mentoring, is where we give all what that we get, give all that we got and I want to tell you one thing is that you're like, man, I feel like because I'm going to give all myself, I'm going to be exhausted. We're not asking you to babysit. Okay, babysitting is exhausting. If anyone has ever babysat, that's exhausting. Okay, but we're talking about mentorship. It says in the word that if you water, you will also be watered. If you give refreshment to others, you also will be refreshed. And that is a promise. First seek the kingdom of God and everything else will be added onto you. You impart into the vision first. If you give to people first, I wanna tell you, God will always bring favor to you first. Amen. So I hope you guys are encouraged and know that when you uh, plug into a home group, when you come to service, you're not just stepping into a service and it ends. You're stepping into a vision and to a hope and to a future for yourself. Amen. So uh, be blessed. And if you are interested in coming to a home group that we offer on Sundays, we have many leaders throughout the service that you can talk to afterwards. And anyone that wants to join on live stream, we also have a Skype home group as well for you to join and unite as well. So you guys, I hope you are blessed by that and just know that you are a mentor in Jesus' name.